Yo, what's up guys? This is Crazy Got Mad here, aka Sean. So, yeah, I'm just gonna do a quick tutorial on how to, well, reasonably quick tutorial on how to make a simple intro, and through the series, I'm gonna make like more advanced intros and show you how to do all modeling type tutorials and all that type of stuff, like export from Photoshop to Zen 4D, and then from Zen 4D to After Effects. So, yeah, when this got, gets like something like 500 views, I'm gonna do like the ne next tutorial. Well, I might like raise it up to like a thousand. So, yeah. Um, don't forget to like share the video around so that you guys get to see more tutorials. So, right, what what are you going to do here? It's going to the so explain. Well, it's the you know, freehand symbol. Click on it, and then drag down to text, and then click on the hyphen of symbol. Oh, so you just gotta wait for my program to load up because. Because I've got about like a couple of hundred points it takes a while to load up. So go into the symbol where it says add hyphen as but don't just click it, you got to click and drag drag the extrude nabs. Yeah, and then drag drag the text on for the extrude nabs. Or if you just want to do it simply just go to move graph and then go to no text, which basically does the same thing. So basically when you're editing extrude nerves it it just ed edits it as one whole thing, but the move graph text splits up into certain letters, and then you can um, edit just a certain letter. If you get what I mean. Um. Yeah, I might as well do that. So, give me two seconds for a moment. Video two. All right. Yeah, I'm back. And what's going on? Oh, I'm not getting I was shaking. Alright, I'm really sorry about um this, but this happened last time, so you're gonna have to excuse the flashing images. So yeah, what, what you're going to want to do is go into text and then go into where it says font, and you see Sego or you, and um, oh, sorry, I was reading a text there. And also you can see, see that because I've got a lot more fonts, there's like taking a while to load up. Obviously, I've got all of these different fonts. So what you don't want to do is um select whatever font you want. I always get well, don't go for agency um agency FB. No, do but yeah, what we don't want to do is go into the extreme nerves. Actually, what you don't want to do is go into where this cube is. Go into plane. Set set the width to Press nine about seven times. Um, I yeah, I was trying to remember. So yeah. Um, as you can see now, we can't see the edge of the plane. So say we render this out. Well, say we render out like this. You can't see the edge of the plane, but obviously we're gonna add some more effects to make it look a lot better. But sorry about this, my program does doesn't normally do this, so you're gonna have to excuse the glitchiness of this program. So what you're going to want to do now is go into extreme nerves, go into caps, cap, start cap, change it that to fillet cap, go, and go into end, go into fillet cap, change the step form. It was actually up if you put it to white. But they um, change it to what you want. So I'm gonna have to ask crazy just for the channel. But like, it's crazy go mad. So yeah, you know there's a lot of glitchiness. Well, this glitchiness shouldn't happen on your computer. So if you're thinking that this program just glitched up, me, it's not. It's just because it's just standing for only five minutes with me. Because I'm I can't see you using that. You can see last night and it crashed and then yeah. A lot of stuff just happened. Let's just leave it at that. Alright, um, then uh, what you're going to want to do is going to want to go to where the plane is, select the rotation tool, and then hold shift and then drag it to 90 degrees. So that then you get noise. Um, oh, I'll just try that because I. Alright, press Ctrl C, Ctrl V, so copy and paste the object and then do what I just did there and then 
what you're going to want to do is run this bot to about 50. You know, say about, you're about 80. So that then you got a nice little gap behind there. And then you see what's going on there. And obviously, what you see now is the you've got a little bit of the tight going to underneath the floor. So what you're going to want to do is go into this selection here. Then go to this bit here. Zoom in to the thing you can see it, and then just simply drive the plane down and hold shift. Well, don't hold shift because it's about like five to ten minutes, so you get roughly about like as quick as like, like, as you want. But obviously, this is just a quick tutorial, so yeah. Um, what you're going to want to do now is go where you've got the cr crazy or you've got the text, you're going to want to. Add a new, new material, so you're going to want to change color, um, add a re reflection of say 30, yeah. About 25 is a nice, not a, like, some reflections you get a reflection, but it can be too much, but what you don't want to do is go and, like, go to, like, a nice bright color, nice blue, and, um, you only want to not do what you said there, where I double clicked, but you only want to hold control and then drag the material across it, and then you get a copy of the material and just drag that down to where the black is, and now you like, nice get a shiny black material. So, what you're going to do is you're going to want to click this, press C, make it editable, and where you've got the road and the cap and the extreme nav, you're going to want to have the both cups selected and you're going to want to have the extreme nav selected basically um, yeah I'm so sorry about that I'm actually trying to um, yeah you're going to want to go to this tool here and have a low selection tool well just go across and then press control A to select tool then you're going to want to drag and drop the. Well, you can do it either way, but as you can see here, there's now a. You now have this effect of the. Um, of the. What do you call it? You know what I'm on about, anyway. Um, yeah, so you're going to want to have a new plane. Rotation. Try that to work. How, how much you want it, and then just drag this back so that it's out of the way of the camera. But when we use the camera, drag it to about like I don't know, thousand. It's always a nice distance. So I'm going to be Yeah, um, so I'm going to fix yours up. So just drag it that much more. And then you want to go and want to double click here. Deselect color and then deselect specular and select luminance. So the then now I play light and then you drag, drag that onto the well, yeah. Which that, but that like zoomed in way too fast. But as you can see here, well, if I run this now, you can see that it's still, I don't know, like still a bit like cheap looking. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to get, well, this will increase the run time. So, if this is just your first, like, time of doing it, but, like, you just want to learn how to use the materials on the camera, then just, like, skip past this part. But you're going to want to have a bit more illumination steps, so that's, like, you go through eight pre passes to give it a more realistic feel. So, as you can see here, it's now, like, rendering, creating a preview of the, of what the, Certain frame will be. I mean, obviously, now there's no animations to the text, but on the next tutorial, I will do. do well, that was kind of well, but yeah, um, yeah, just simply just wait for it to render and then note it, don't press cut because otherwise, it's just like, well, I wish a few more programs messing up, but yeah, you know, sometimes it can screw up and sometimes not, so. Best bet is to either restart your computer or free.
actually saw the program, but I can see here you now have a nice grimy effect that that's like a bit too dark. So you're gonna want to grind down a little bit so we'll see like it's all about getting the light in right as well. So say if you need need to make any entries and it's just like you're just gonna want to like play around with this type of stuff. Just just so that you get a nice effect. So Um, but let me see what this looks like because what you can actually do is you can read it to over 100% so you can read it let's say a thousand percent so you can have it 10 times further away but still have the same effect yeah that's still too dark but um you get the gist it's like if you get a nice shadow behind the text and the if you want like a nice grimy effect that that's like some bit of like effect going on inside the text or something, you get what I mean. So what you're going to want to do now is going to want to, um, well this is going to be a, well, you can, oh, well I'm going to show you right now what you, what I mean by adding an extra point. So say if I set to 200, now 200, like, is now a lot brighter, so as you can see here, the text is now a lot more illuminated, and the well, you can see that see that the light's a lot more brighter than before because it's like double the amount of light. But if you try and use the slider and doing it, then you won't get you won't be able to do it using the slider. You're gonna have to enter like a certain number. So as you can see here, now that you have the reasonable lighting, and you're gonna when you go into camera and then select this so that you now select without the camera going to Settings, go into output, and set the width to 1280, you'll cut to 720, you see that that's HD, and then you go more for the resolution to 280, and then the frame range from current frame to manual, and then, yeah, as you can see here, it's now set 16 by 9 which, uh, which is a HD TV. So now, now that you've got the camera selected, you're going to want to position it roughly around about, well, you won't get it perfectly spot on, you're going to want to want to set this is zero, this is zero, this basically set it all to zero, and then move, move the white, white axis up, so however much you want it, and then just simply, well, if you all, Shift while you're doing this, you can actually zoom, zoom out a lot more. So, oh, that's a lot more faster. So, yeah, this is just like if you're ever, ever here, just like wanting to get a nice, precise, dead on zoom in of it, then you go for a while and do that. What you're going to do is um, press this button here, which records the position scale, um, point of direction active for. Uh, for active objects. So you're going to want to create a key from here, go to I don't know, 50, uh, zoom in, so that now if you use this tool here, this the zoom in, this is the rotation, and this is the location. So now that you're here, you're going to want to uh, deselect this, split the rotation to so that obviously that's really loud. So you're going to want to like make it do a 360, so just drag it up to 360 degrees, press keyframe, and now you can see that the camera now does a 360. So that, well, put that. You can see right here that if, as we go through the keyframes, it's like it does a nice three, clean 360. Then you're going to want to get here to 70 frames. Actually, I'll make it 65, and then you're gonna want to drag it across, move it around. It's about here, and then let's see. Go up to, you're gonna want to change frame rate to, well, not frame rate, but the frame width and the timeline from 90 to 150, so that you might get more. 
you can select the, select the turret however long you want it to be, but it's 30 frames a second, so this is like the 60, 65th frame, so you're going to want to select the... Let's just select it to 105, and then uh, if we just move it around, and then move it across to here, you now see that there's um, a nice clean pan across the text, so as you can see right here. See it fans across the text. Obviously, it's a bit too close for this, so it's pretty tutorial. So obviously, when you're do doing this, you can obviously you don't have to do this exactly the way I'm doing it here. But if you want it to just like pause here and have like, if you well, if you are someone who knows After Effects quite a lot, but doesn't know Cinema 4D at all, you can always do a fade out and then have like a link down here. If you want. So for these beginners, you're gonna want to have it zoom in the text, just for a nice like effect. So now, as you can see here, if we go to the zero keyframe, oh yeah, by the way, this line here is where the keyframe tracking is. So nice 360, go across, pan across, and then zoom in. So yeah, as you can see here, well. You can actually see here that there's a nice smooth pan across zoom in 360. So what you're also going to want to do here is um well that's it basically because well that's all you really need to know to make a simple tutorial because yeah well if you want you can always add like the light effects. So if you have like a light in here so if you just drag it up here and then like this back here and then over here you can also have a different type of lighting. So if we were to render this here, we might get like a different effect. But I always suggest using a plane and then selecting the luminance so it's quite high. So that then like you can drag it out of the camera and it has like a global effect. But obviously this global effect won't work. But as you can see here global illumination with the light and the effect kind of kind of takes away the whole gist of having like the over overhead view right. so as you can see here first keyframe first keyframe nice well you can see the dark floor all fades in all around it redoing what I'm using my hands to Move around the screen because not really my screen, but you know what I mean. So you look coming in from the darkness, it's there. So trust me, like in the other, in like in the tutorial, I do a modeling tutorial, so you can see how you can add like different effects to it and all that type of stuff and like explosion or crazy shit. So yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video around so that people know will know how to use. Cinema 4 here and how to make a simple tutorial and don't forget to subscribe for more and like this video and comment on what you like it, what you like about it and what can be improved or any suggestion any like say if you need uh, any help with anything which I am like going over in the video then just feel free to message me or leave a comment below. So yeah. Peace out guys.